Now to vote. 2024, less than three hours away from an historic presidential debate. ABC's coverage begins at 8 o'clock tonight right here on Channel 7. President Biden and former President Trump go face to face and in front of an electorate that has appeared less than thrilled by this whole thing. But now each candidate able to talk directly to Americans. So how will Mr. Trump handle questions about his 34 felony convictions in Manhattan? And will Mr. Biden allay fears of Voters concerned about his age. Lots of questions and so very much at stake here. I want to news reporter Josh Eidegger in the newsroom with the preview of what might happen tonight. Josh? Bill, there are so many things about this debate that are unusual, starting with the rules, to the early date on the calendar, to the ages of the two men who will go at it on stage, both of whom have now arrived in Atlanta for this historic debate. President Biden stepped off Air Force One today into the blazing southern heat. The temperature in Atlanta as high as the stakes on the debate stage tonight. Most of all, I want you to listen to his heart. Yes. Because what you're going to hear is how much Joe cares about Americans. Biden has spent days with advisors at Camp David preparing to face off with Donald Trump for the first time in four years. The president hoping to defend his record on the economy and jobs while drawing attention to his predecessor's felony convictions and promise to pardon those arrested after the January 6th riots in Washington. No one has ever heard Trump offer one proposal that leads to the betterment of this country or the betterment of people's families and communities, not single one. And so I think that's what it's going to come down to. For his part, Trump arrived in Atlanta within the past hour after spending months panning Biden as feeble and incompetent, lowering expectations for Biden's debate performance. But Trump's surrogates say it'll be a sober and substantive ex-president, promising to return to a time he claims Americans were better off. When it comes to the American voter, what does a change in leadership in the White House means? It means a better economy. It means prices under control. It means a secure border. The biggest wild card could be whether Trump tries to interrupt his successor, which he did more than 100 times when they faced off in 2020. The question the is, just is the radical question, left. Will you shut up, your, man? Listen. Tonight, the CNN moderated debate will have no live audience, and two anchors demonstrated how a candidate's mic will be cut off when he doesn't have the floor. He's going to interrupt me as I'm speaking, and this is what it will sound like. My volume remains constant, while Phil's interruption can be difficult to understand. It was the Biden campaign that demanded this setup to avoid the sort of food fight that proved so distracting last time. But it's really anyone's guess how the dynamic will play out on stage, and more importantly, on the tens of millions of TV screens across the country tonight.